So every time I know that I'm going to be offline, like say on a plane or a movie like Endgame is coming out, I always download my movies and TV shows from Netflix ahead of time to watch them on my iPhone. But the screen is quite small and I wanted to download it on my Mac. But there's no native app built from Netflix for Mac, unlike Windows. I don't know. So I've been looking for a solution to download movies or TV shows onto my Mac from Netflix, but there hasn't been any real solution that actually worked. Or if it is, it's just clickbait until now. That's right, I found a way to download Netflix videos on your Mac. Just clean and simple, none of that complicated rigmarole that you normally go through. Just open the app, go to downloads, and just start diving in and watching videos. You can even watch 4K content, which is amazing. Also, with a VPN, you can watch geo-restricted content like American Netflix. Let's see how we do it, shall we? Since there's no official Netflix app for Mac, you'll need to run Windows on your Mac. Trust me, it's easy. For this, we'll use a Mac software called Parallels, which is the best tool for this job. Sure, you can also run Windows on Mac with Bootcamp, but that'll require you to restart your Mac every time you want to switch to Windows, not to figure the complicated setup. Parallels, on the other hand, runs Windows with Mac OS. The setup is simple and hardly takes about 15 minutes, if you've got good internet connection that is. So let's check it out. The single license costs about $80, and I know what you're going to say, but hear me out. There's a 14 day free trial of the full software, they won't nag you with any watermark or you know requiring to put in your credit card. So if you're going for a vacation and want to download your favourite Netflix shows, Parallels should be easy to do the job for free. My favourite thing about Parallels is that the installation is extremely simple. Simply run the software and it'll take care of everything from installing Windows to configuring it. In fact, I ran the installer while I was watching Game of Thrones and once I came back, the Windows was ready to go. I was surprised, I didn't even click a single button. It automatically fetches the Windows copy from the Windows server so you don't have to provide an ISO. I guess it's an evaluation copy of Windows. Once the installation is done, Parallel will ask you to create a free trial account. Sounds fair, let's just save some time and log in with my Google account. And there you go, Windows on my Mac. Pretty cool. So in my Windows desktop, you can see a lot of icons. It probably replicates Mac's desktop to Windows, which is cool, so I can access my documents easily. Mm, let's remove this clutter first. So right click, the right click on Mac works on Windows as well. Pretty neat. And let's hide the desktop icons. Next up, we need to download the Netflix app on Windows. So open the Windows Store, search for Netflix, and then there you go. It would be cool if you can install Netflix without signing in into Microsoft's account. Now that I have the Netflix app, I'll log in real quick. Everything is pretty smooth so far, smoother than my old Windows computer. And for your information, I'm testing this on the least powerful 2015 128GB MacBook Air. The whole point being, if this works on this MacBook, it'll work on most MacBooks out there. Once you log into Netflix, it gives me download pop right at the beginning, as if it can read my mind. Okay, so I'll go ahead and download something, see if it actually works. Now, what should I download? Hmm, how about The Invisible Guest? It's a pretty underrated movie after all, let's see if they have it. There you go, it's here, let's download it and see if it works. The file is around 1.7 gigabytes, so it might take a minute or two. I mean, I've got 100 megabytes per second connection, if you're wondering. Okay, so once the file is downloaded, let's see if it actually works. But you know what? Let's first test how stable the software is. So I'll disconnect my internet, restart the Netflix app, and there you go. The movie's working fine. As you can see, there's a picture-in-picture -picture mode option in the Netflix app, which is pretty cool. But can you make it full screen? Let's try it. That's pretty cool. Let's see what happens when you restart the parallels. Do I start from the beginning or it, does it remember where I left the Netflix app? Okay, let me just restart the app real quick and it shows me I've got a 14 day trial left. Cool, I'll just use the trial version for now, but I have to say, I'm really digging this app. 
And once the app loads, it remembers my last session. The Netflix app is open and it also remembers where I was, just like the mobile experience. So everything's good so far. I also use SmartDNS Proxy's VPN to access Netflix US. The Office has the highest rewatch value, so right now I can't see The Office on Netflix since I'm not in the US. Let's see if I can circumvent that geo restriction with SmartDNS Proxy. So turn on the SmartDNS Proxy VPN with Smart VPN Server, go back to Netflix app and search for The Office again. Mm, it's not working, but you know what? This could probably be the cache issue. So let me just restart the Netflix app and try again. And it still doesn't work. Maybe it's the Windows cache. In the past, restarting Windows had cleared the cache. Let's see if it works this time. So I'll quickly restart my Windows. By the way, I just love how flawlessly this works on my beat up MacBook Air. I can only imagine the performance in a new MacBook Pro. Once the Windows restarts, open the Netflix app and try again. And then voila! There you go, the office is right here. Let's see if you can play it and boom, works like a charm. But you know what? The party's still not over. There's one final thing I want you to check. Can I play Netflix 4K content on Mac? As of now, you can only do that on Windows. I'll be psyched if it works on Mac. Now, obviously you need a newer Mac with 4K or at least your TV should be 4K. The highest version of Netflix subscription and finally a Mac with Kaby Lake or higher Intel processor. Most newer Macs have that already, but provided you have it all, will it work? And well, it does work. Now obviously I can show you this on my old MacBook Air, but we did test it on the 2017 MacBook Pro and iMac, it worked fine. Once you log into those devices and have a 4K plan, you'll see an option for Ultra HD 4K on the Netflix Windows app or Edge browser. Unfortunately it doesn't work for Safari or Chrome. So yeah, that's how you download Netflix videos onto your Mac. And it's been quite smooth and you know convenient, I've been using it for the past three days. And he hasn't told me to upgrade to a premium version because they want the money. I'll let you know how it goes in the next couple of months and let me know in the comment section below if you like it. That being said, watch for our other videos that we've done on how to watch American Netflix on your you know, streaming device, PS4. There's a bunch of those we've done. Vamsi, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.